Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Alisa, and I'd like to introduce my husband James to I'm everyone. James. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was talking to you guys earlier about him and wanting to introduce him to the channel also since he is also going through this fertility infertility process with yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing it together. Um, I think the first thing we were wanting to talk about that one of the things that we did not know going into this was like the paperwork. When you go into um, go over what's going to happen through your fertility process. Um, there's a lot of paperwork and with that comes deciding what you're going to do with all of your eggs. Yes. Sperm. sperm. And sperm. <laughs> um, oocytes, I think that's oocytes. oocytes, I think that's what it's called. Uh, so the oocyte is just me. Fishy. Where the embryo is us fertilized oh. together yeah. and so <laughs> he's saying that he doesn't want if we're not together so like this is if you if anyone passes away if anyone gets divorced or separated who's to say where these if we decide to freeze them where are they gonna go do we just get, destroy them do we give them to somebody do we keep them that's where we're kind do of go to me do they go to him or do they, who, or, do we split them in half? Yeah. I get two babies, he gets another baby. We don't know for sure. We're kind of stuck in the middle of what to do. I've kind of thought myself like, because I am older, um, and you guys already know that I am 44. Mm -hmm. My husband is 30, 30 so he's <laughs> a little younger. And, um, so the, the the hard part is deciding, well, we know that my, I'm not gonna have a lot of eggs. Even if we go through the fertility, infertility process and do IVF, uh, we'll be mm -hmm. lucky, I think, um, cause we did IUI last IUI, year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had, like yeah, like three times. And so <laughs> how, I think each time I only had like four eggs on one side, yeah. five on the other. So it was only a total of nine. I think one time we had 12. Is that right? I think one time, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> he just along for the ride. He's like, let me know when I need to show up, do my thing, do my thing, do my thing in the little my, room. Pass my cup. Pass his cup on and that's it. Um, so, uh, but we're just trying to figure out, like, I don't think we're gonna have enough to be freezing and if we do, I don't know if we're gonna fertilize those. We might just wait because, I mean, he can always come up with a sample. He, he, he they say he's got an abundance, so oh we should be God. good. <laughs> we should be good for a while <laughs> on his end. Um, we just need to save as many of my eggs as possible, just in case. Maybe when I'm 47, um, we could try again if we decide to. If not, uh, my personal thought is. With all these ladies out here, yeah. and we were talking about this last night, with all the ladies out in the world today, I never thought I'd be in this place. And it's definitely a great learning experience for myself. I think even yeah. for you to be, I guess, just more understanding and eye-opening to what other couples are going through, what other females, men, whoever are going through. Um, honey, we do me a favor. We shut that door. Oh, yeah. So, sorry, my big kids, sorry, my big kids are watching shows, or our big kids are watching TV. So. Okay. Make sure they don't fall. Yeah. Sorry. So anyways, um, I think. So it's, it's a challenge for both of us. Yes. Um, not just is. for her, but just for me as well. Um, when you go through the process of trying to have a child and bring him into the world, you, you don't think about, it's gonna be multiple obstacles you gotta go through to even have a child. Right. Um, majority, you know, you just have that one time and then that's it, you know, you, you're pregnant, boom. You know, but. You think it's supposed to be that easy. Yeah, but, you know, we got the short end of the stick, so it's kind of a, a bit, Music part we gotta go through different loops. Different Definitely loops. a roller coaster. Yeah, so um, it's, it's just 
I think too, like because of all the stuff that we've gone through, it sometimes it can weigh on your marriage a little bit. Yeah. Um, it can be yeah. tough because stress. I think yeah, stressful. Um, yeah. Everything's so whatever. <laughs> everything's so regulated, like especially when you're. I calculate all my cycles I've been calculating all my cycles for like two years now so I take my temperature every morning and I'm like okay d honey this is the day we have to d you know do it we can't do it this day we have to do it this day yeah <laughs> the this, poor guy is like a robot on the, on the schedule here <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it this day but we have to do it this day yeah, and so. I just feel really bad for him I should go to work <laughs> <laughs> right. He just shows up when, he, when I say, because we've tried everything. We did that every other day and they say, oh, just relax and, you know, let it be yeah, how it is. That's, and it's, it's a challenge itself. <laughs> right. That's right. So it can, it can be really difficult. But anyway, so back with the oocyte thingy and the embryos, I think what we've decided is we are going to wait to sign these papers depending on what we have. Um, if we have an abundance, which would be awesome, yeah. then we'll make that decision then. Um, and just by some chance, if I pass away on the table, God forbid, then he can do whatever he wants. I'm just saying like he can do what he wants to do with whatever. Um, you might want to save a little me. <laughs> save a little embryo of me. <laughs> <laughs> to stick around and drive you crazy forever. <laughs> um, but what was I gonna say? So if if I have extra and we don't freeze them, then I would like I personally would like to donate um, my oocytes, whatever they're called, uh, to other women uh, that would eggs. like whatever. Yeah, eggs to other women that are needing them and would like to have a child a blonde haired yeah. blue-eyed little girl <laughs> or a mixed child i would keep telling him even if they're if they're together we should give them to other parents and he doesn't feel comfortable letting don't make that face <laughs> oh no letting other little hymns run around no but nice. i feel but i feel okay knowing i don't know it's kind of like an adoption process to me yeah. you know and I, of course, don't want to have 10 more children. So, well. anyways, but we will see what happens. Again, I don't think I will have a lot to go off of anyway. So, if we are lucky to get three eggs that fertilize to make it and we implant two, we're good, good to on, go. We're good to go. Yeah. So, that's where we're at with that process. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. I think we can. Yeah, I think we can too. Okay, so on the last video, we discussed about what we had. We were going to show what we had in our little goodie bag. This is the little bag they give you when you go in to do your shot process. Or they, sh they let you know how to do the shots and how to mix everything. They give you like the little goodie bag. Consultation. Okay? Yeah, a little consultation thing. Yeah. So, do you want to pull out the first thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the first thing they gave us is a diary for the journal yeah for for her you know not for me it can be for you too i think, well, if, I think it's, for you. it's more for me <laughs> most of all this is for the so woman. we have to go through all the hard stuff <laughs> she's mad at me she wears everything in here probably not though <laughs> probably not in case you want to read it that all yeah, stays up so, here <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little it's a book you just write everything in yeah and write your thoughts or you know what you're going through at that moment through the through the process. Yeah. So I thought that was really nice. Um, the next thing is they gave you like the EOS uh, lip balm. It's kind of like a peppermint. So that was really nice. So I don't know if that's just to keep you hydrated on your lips or what. <laughs> no, they're going to be having some action. <laughs> I don't know. Chapped lips is not good lips. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, honey. Okay. Um... Okay, I got a hydro flask. Hydro flask uh, to keep her uh, hydrated. Yeah. Um, in the process, so. Um, again, yeah. 
for her, not for me, but yeah. Water, water, and more water. Yeah, I really feel like this whole basket is just only for the women. No, there's one thing in here for him. <laughs> oh my God. They said there's one thing in here in the bag for him, uh, which I'll let him pull, him pull that one out. So, <laughs> so the next one is um, like a freezy pack. So let me open this. These are so cute. They used to not, I mean, they didn't have these back in the olden days. So this is the, so you're supposed to freeze it. And there's like these little jelly beads in here, like an Orby type thing. And you're supposed to freeze it and you're supposed to put it on your stomach before you give yourself the shot or he gives me his shot, yeah. the, the shot. And, um, and it's supposed to help numb it a little bit before the shot goes in so it doesn't hurt as bad because you know, after a while, it's gonna be kind of sore. Yeah, in the process of the IVF. Right, right, it. exactly. So, all right, honey. Oh my God. All right. He's got the last. Last but not least. Okay, this is a stress ball. <laughs> it's me. a stress ball for him. I said, uh, take this to work. Oh yeah. For all your friends to see, you know, in case you stressed. At work. Yeah, I'll never hear that one again. <laughs> it's a little sperm. Yeah. Bro. Bring the sperm. <laughs> right. Yes. So, and then there's also, uh, I'm sorry, there's uh, there's also like a lemon herb tea bag in there. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I think that's it. Yes. Yep, that is Your all. IVF care package. Yes. Lip balm for moisture. Yeah, lip balm, tea bag, sweet tea, stress reliever, hot and cold pack. Yes. And oh, I guess you can warm this up too. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so after, like, I guess some ladies were saying that they have some back Water pain bottle. or whatever. So you can warm this up and put it on your back. And also, um, they were saying after retrieval day, the, the warm pack. I guess you're supposed to have a bunch of warm on you. Like, your feet are supposed to stay warm, your hands are supposed to stay warm. Um... You're not supposed to drink anything really cold. So something about keeping the circulation going inside your body instead of focusing on other extremities of your body. Yeah. So. Um, blood flow. Blood flow. Yeah, I keep the blood flow going. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we wanted to talk about today. Well, when you trust me, I'll just grab my sperm. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that's all we were going to talk about tonight. Um, we're gonna do a, a video on how we met sometime. And we got little Hershey over there barking. Yeah. Sorry. Hershey. Um, come here. Come here, Hershey. We'll let you see a little Hershey. He's a toy poodle. He does need a haircut though. Uh, Mommy needs to take him get his haircut. This is Hershey. This little Hershey. Hershey? He's our fifth, sixth baby. Sixth baby. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to be loved. Anyways, um, with that, we'll just close for today, and we will see you all later. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>